Hello guys, kumusta kayong lahat? At welcome back dito sa May Art Life. So for today's episode, we will be reviewing another gouache set. At excited na akong i-share sa inyo itong Symboline gouache paints in 24 colors. And without further ado, let's get started. So for today's episode, we are going to review and swatch the Symbolion gouache colors. At this set has 24 colors, but 25 pieces. Mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung bakit. And on this side of the packaging naman ay merong details about the squash colors. Ang sabi dito, bright and saturated tones, consistent high quality, excellent water solubility even after it dries. Well, mamaya malalaman natin kung totoo ang mga claims na ito pag nag-start na tayo mag-swatch. At oh nga pala, ah, nabili ko to for 362 pesos and 50 centavos um, dun to sa may art bar sa Serendra. Alright, so now we are going to do a little bit of unboxing and habang ginagawa ko yan, um, you know, it will be awesome if you'll be able to subscribe to this channel at mas awesome pa if you will be able to like and share this video. Thank you so much if you did or if you have already and now I think we are ready to take a closer look at all of the colors that this Symboline gouache set has and tulad nga nung nakalagay kanina sa package, this set has 25 pieces but 24 colors. Twenty-five pieces siya dahil dalawa yung white and uh, yung isa sa na-observe ko rito, mas malaki siya kesa dun sa other tubes. So medyo na-curious ako bakit ganito yung setup nung quash set na to and I did a little bit of research. So mamaya maya ikukwento ko sa inyo kung bakit and it's a little bit interesting kung bakit naging ganun yung setup niya. Para naman pala dun sa mga first time pa lang or mga paguhan pa lang na kagamit ng watercolors or gouache in tubes minsan ganito yung setup niya um, nakasil yung pinaka tube niya so most likely nasa takip yung pangbukas so babalik na rin lang yung takip meron dun parang uh, cone shaped na pangbutas so push in mo lang yun and yan open na yung uh, tube at pwede nyo na siyang gano'n okay so now buksan na natin yung other tubes at habang ginagawa ko yan, um, alam nyo ba before, ayokong nadudumihan yung mga takip. So, every time na bubuksan ko yung mga tubes ng paints ko, ang ginagawa ko, inuhugasan ko kagat yung mga takip. Kasi, di ba napapansin nyo, nalalagyan nung paint as you open yung mga uh, tips ng tubes. Ako, ayoko yan nung dati. Hindi ko alam kung sobrang OC ko lang siguro, pero gusto ko kasi malinis lahat. Uh, after some time, na-realize ko, may advantage pala yung nalalagyan ng paint yung pinakadulo ng takip. Let's finish up with opening all of our tubes. Right? So that's the last one. And now let me show you what happens kapag nalagyan ng paint yung takip. So if you are storing your uh, paints this way, Makikita nyo rito, parang swatch na rin yung nalagay na paint dun sa takip. So, it's very easy to identify which color you, you'll be needing. So, you don't have to pick up every paint tubes. All you have to do is look at it from above and alam mo na kung ano yung kulay ng paint na nasa tube. And that is one tip I can share with you today. So, remember, if paint gets into the cap of your tube paints, you don't have to worry about it. It's actually a good thing. Alright, so now we are ready to start with swatching and simulan natin with the white. So far, yung white na to, opaque naman siya. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, meron pa rin siyang konting transparency. Dahil yung black line na nilalagay natin dun sa swatch box, maaninag nyo pa rin siya eh kahit na napatungan na siya ng white. At o nga pala guys, di ba kanina sinabi ko na meron reason kung bakit yung set na to dalawa yung white niya tapos mas malaki yung tube niya kesa dun sa other uh, colors na nandun sa set. Nung ni-research ko about that, yung reason pala nun is uh, the same with other um, paint sets whether it's wash, watercolor, or kung ano paman. Uh, basta pag napansin nyo na merong dalawang white 
na mas mal- or mas malaki yung white kesa sa other tubes. This means lahat ng uh, colors niya are tinting colors. Eh kung familiar kayo with um uh, sa mga pinturan, yung tulad ng paint na ginagamit sa bahay, 'di ba? Kung mapapansin niyo, especially dun sa Robinsons din sa DIY or sa handyman, meron tong section kung saan pwede kang umorder ng specific color tapos gagawin nila kukuha lang sila ng white na paint tapos meron dong parang station na merong magenta, cyan, saka yellow tapos uh, bibigay mo lang yung specific color na kailangan mo tapos kaya nilang gawin or kaya nilang gayahin it is the same with this set kung papansin nyo lahat ng kulay na sinuswatch natin basta color siya um, transparent kasi it means it's tinting color if you want it to be opaque hahaluan nyo siya ng white so it's the same with that system na ginagamit nila sa mga regular paints yung, ginag- yung pang house paints di ba yung mga boys and ganun it's the same thing so ngayon alam nyo na yung sekreto kung bakit dalawa yung white or merong white na tube na mas malaki than the other tubes it's because it's that kind of system na ginagamit nila and uh, kung maga it's your freedom na to mix all of the colors that you want so you're just gonna be using white to make the colors opaque tapos new colors then if you want to use them like um, transparent paints you can do so kasi uh, by default transparent na yung mga colors so kung maglilayer ka or uh, magiglaze ka it will be easier for you to put one color on top of another since transparent lahat ng colors and again if you want to make the colors opaque so mag add ka lang ng white at eto pa pala uh, bukod dun sa white na ginagamit siya as an opacifier o pa, para maging opaque yung kulay ng paint uh, may isa pa tong use uh, ako lagi ko tong ginagawa eh. actually yung white ginagawa ko siya base color or yung sinasabi nilang primer I would suggest for you to try it out tingnan nyo mas maganda yung magiging lapat ng mga colors na ilalagay nyo kapag naglagay kayo ng primer na white hindi naman kailangan makapal yung white um, maglagay lang kayo ng konting white tapos there's a lot of water tapos ipaint nyo lang siya all over the paper tingnan nyo mapapansin nyo mas madaling magpaint mas smoother yung lapat ng paint saka mas madaling gumawa ng gradients ayan na so pag tinry nyo yung yung style or yung technique na paglalagay ng white before you start painting um, let me know Uh, let me know how it turned out uh, nagwork ba siya sayo or hindi or if you have other techniques then uh, please do leave a comment lagay nyo lang dyan para makatulong din sa iba who would be reading through the comments or would be watching this video it would be nice then to help others diba? mga pala guys meron akong question sa inyo ewan ko kung nangyayari na to sa inyo or nangyayari every time may bago kayong paint sets uh, pero tingnan nyo tong green na to nung pinipress ko na siya dun sa paper ang lumabas hindi paint kundi yung uh, retarder niya or yung binder niya and kalimitan tong nangyayari kapag matagal nang nasa storage yung paint pagka nangyari to ito lang yung suggestion ko and uh, this is also usually what I do kuha ka lang ng ano ng paper clip o kaya ng ito toothpick yung ginagamit ko tapos haluin nyo lang siya sa loob uh, para kapag ka uh, Um, pinrest nyo ulit yung tube uh, mas maganda na yung ano, consistency ng paint hindi na puro binder lang or yung retarder lang yung lalabas ito pala nung one time na nag-research ako about this Simbalayan gouache paints tapos nanonood din ako syempre ng other videos ng iba nang nakapag-review ng product na to um, meron dong nakakatawang part na dun sa comments kasi may likas ang magbasa ng comments eh tapos dun sa comments nag-aaway na yung mga ano yung mga nanood nung video kasi um, pinag-aaway nila doon paano daw ba yung pronunciation nung uh, simbalayon kasi iba sabi simbalion daw yun hindi daw yung simbalayon pero sa akin na ako uh, I think it's simbalayon kasi number one I think pinangalan nila to doon sa Disney movie na Lion King ba diba? si Simba tapos Lion siya tapos at the same time pag tinignan niyo yung logo ng Simba Lion yung letter O po print sa so i guess that references to the animal 
kaya yun simbala yun para sa akin pero if kayo sa tingin niyo simbal yun sa um, ano sa tingin niyo reference kung bakit uh, I would be so interested to know pero guys ha, friendly comments lang po wag niyo gayahin dun sa kabilang channel na may nag na kung simbala yun ba or simbal yun okay so since we are down to our last few callers siguro it's okay na rin for me to let you know ano yung mga nagustuhan ko dito ano yung mga hindi Um, so far, uh, yung isang nagustuhan ko rito is yung uh, 24 colors and 25 pieces kasi nga uh, dalawa yung white. Nagustuhan ko na inadapt nila yung system na yun where so you can use it just like regular watercolors, diba? Kasi nga, transparent siya. So you can do a lot of techniques. If you want to make the colors opaque, gusto nyo yung bold, opaque colors, then just add white. Yung colors din, uh, maganda yung selection. Ang kung mapapansin nyo, pwede nyo balikan yung mga other colors kanina. May mga colors na uh, pastel. So, may added white na agad siya. Pero yung ibang kulay, wala. So, tinting color sila and uh, transparent sila. Nagustuhan ko rin yung color selection kasi ang white nung variety ng kulay. Walang colors na masyadong malapit yung shade kasi para sa akin it's such a waste na alam mo yung may dalawang kulay or more than three colors na halos magkakapareho. Ito talagang sobrang iba-iba. Kung meron mang parang dalawang types ng yellow, yung isa is pastel tapos yung isa is more vibrant. And the fact na naglagay din sila ng mga neon colors. With the price naman, I think okay lang naman siya sa presyo niya kasi um, marami yung kulay tapos hindi naman ganun kaliit yung mga tubes. Yung hindi ko lang siguro nagustuhan dito is yung tubes mismo. Kasi I'm not a big fan of metal tubes. Mas gusto ko yung tubes pagka plastic lang siya eh. Kasi um, mas madaling simutin yung paint sa loob kapag may natira. And at the same time, uh, madaling i-squeeze out yung paint. Kasi di ba minsan napapansin nyo kapag yung tube nagkaroon ng dents tapos na pisil siya pag binuksan niyo yung cap biglang sumisirit yung paint so yun I'm really not a big fan of uh, metal tubes overall sobrang okay itong set na to so kung mag decide kayong bumili hindi kayo magsisisi alright so that's it for today's video and again thank you so much guys for joining me today And magkakalimutan, always take care and be safe.